Devin, you talked about things that need to be fixed. What priority order? What do you think are the the biggest issues? I mean, everything. You know, we didn't we didn't compete well enough as a team. On the right, on the way to the right, Pete. Devin, how much uh, did the win play a factor in the passing game today? <clears throat> Right, well, Joe. Devin, you've been sacked uh, seven times two straight weeks. Is there um, a cumulative effect? Uh, I don't know if shell shock is the word or whatever, but is it harder <coughs> to stand there in the pocket or or do you even find yourself holding the ball longer sometimes as well because of the battering you've been taking? I mean, I feel like it's a, it's a lot of different things. You know, I think maybe on a few plays I did hold it a little long, and, uh, and I mean, it happens. You know, I just have to, we have to, we have to cut down the negative plays. Keep us in a shorter distance. Standing on your left, Jeff. Along the same lines, can, can you describe what it feels like to be sacked seven times? I mean, I, I don't, it doesn't matter how many times I say I want to win the football game, so I feel bad we lost the football game. Front right, Nico. Devin, over here. Um, it seems like as the season goes, has gone on, opponents have been able to anticipate your offensive plays. Um, do you, have, would you agree with that? Uh, I can't agree with that. I mean, we had plays out there, and we didn't make them. In the middle here. Uh, Devin, do you think with the lack of uh, rushing presence over the last couple of weeks, do you think you have the uh, weight of the world on your shoulders now more than ever with what's been happening? I mean, I'm the quarterback, and, and I'm, I need to, I'm trusted to make plays, and I didn't make enough plays today to help my football team win. In the middle again, Andy. Yeah, I'll bag. Uh, he gets at the end of the time, 150 some yards. And Last two games, the running backs have not accounted for much at all. And what do you think the biggest biggest keys are, the biggest problems are there in the, the running game from that running back? I mean, we're young up front, and um, sometimes we don't target, you know, the, the right people. You know, it's just growing pains. You know, we got young guys, and they're, they're fighting as hard as they can. So, I mean, I can't really ask for much else for them to give their all like I am and like, like the rest of my teammates are. Back right. Devin, earlier in the season it was interceptions, now it seems to be you know, taking so many sacks, especially the last two weeks. Are those early season interceptions sort of in the back of your mind, that's why you're holding out on the ball too long, lead to the higher sack total? No. Devin, you know, well, Joe on the right. You just have to ask, because you haven't hit so much the last few weeks, it, are, is anything bothering you physically at all? I mean, I'm, I'm, if, I'm out, if I'm out there, I'm fine. You know, everybody's uh, beat up in November. There's not a uh, guy out there that's running around uh, fresh unless they haven't played hard and, you know, giving their all for their team. So I feel like I'm not the only one that's beat up. You know, everybody's beat up. Next to him, Dave. De Devin, speaking of that, you, you were able to make a lot of plays early in the season off scrambles and busted, busted plays. You haven't been able to do that the last couple of weeks. Is that something the teams are taking away from you through scheme, or what's what's the difference? Uh, they just they just haven't been there for me. I mean, I uh, can't really say much about that. I mean. Back to Andy. Talk about the, the offensive line competing so hard. Eric and, and uh, Kyle Bosch are, are in there. They've all got a few starts under their belt. How how they responded to these last couple of weeks? I mean, they've been working hard in practice and uh, trying to trying to get better. You know, that's all I can ask. Uh, of the young guys who are fighting for me, you know. So I, I commend them for doing their best and uh, continuing to fight for, for Michigan and for me. Next to him, Mojo. Devin, when the, when the running game isn't working at all, really, um, tailback running, off tackle running, do, do you feel like you would you guys need to spread it out a little more, throw it a little bit more, quick passes, that type of thing? I mean, I, I'm not the off square. I feel like Coach Boris has a good handle on what to do. I'm going to run what he calls and do my best to make it work. You know, like I said, there's a lot of plays out there that uh, we didn't make. You know, uh, so that's on us. Angelique. Doug, can you put your finger on one thing that, that, that this team is lacking right now? The, the team's toughness was famously questioned this week in a national column. And it seems like you guys are, it's not for lack of trying, but what, what's missing? Well, I don't feel like we finished well, like I said before. Um, but uh, whoever questions our toughness, you know, uh, they can shove it. You know, I look in those guys' eyes in the huddle, and they're tough guys, and they're going out and fighting for me. So I don't, I don't care what, what any of you or whoever said that says.